Going cashless has its benefits. You can quickly tap away with your card or phone, but it doesn't come without a price. According to a study by the Royal Society of Arts, getting rid of notes and coins could lead to spiraling debts and social isolation. The study found that one in five of people surveyed said they would struggle to cope in a cashless society. Nearly 50% said it would be problematic if there was no cash. I spoke to members of the British public to hear how they felt. I would regret that actually. I don't think it's uh, the entire answer. There are many things where you just need a bit of cash. Of course there's the risk of having your phone taken, stolen. But otherwise, I mean, cash is just, they're the dirty and they're, you know, I, I don't see any benefits with cash at all. There were questions on how it would affect generosity and charity. I think uh, lots of uh, homeless people, obviously, they deal in cash, um, they get given change. How would we be able to donate to, to people uh, walking through the streets? I think people tip less because obviously where um, it's contactless, you don't have the option to then just add on a few extra pounds. One lady raised concerns about going cashless, comparing it to China's social credit system. Central government can obviously um, ultimately be in charge of, of that money. The move away from physical money also impacts businesses. For some, it's made things easier. From a logistical perspective, it makes it easier for us, contactless, especially during the pandemic. We were trying to avoid having too much contact with the customer. Um, so in that sense, it made it easier for us. So prior to the pandemic, we had a 50% 50 share between cash and um, contactless. Now it's probably gone up to 90% card, contactless, and 10% cash. Others noted that going cashless adds expenses to their enterprise. On top of VAT, corporation tax and other business fees, contactless payment systems have an initial setup cost and they also take around 2% of the end product price. This affects small businesses the most. When we sometimes buy from a local farm, farmers market farmers, they want us to pay cash. So if we can't collect enough cash, we can't pay them uh, cash. And if we start paying them with card and with um, a direct debit, they, they would increase their price. I also spoke with Phil Reed, a professor of psychology at Swansea University. But there's always a risk when you put your eggs in one basket. If you have cash and you have cashless means of paying, you have a much broader range of behaviours you can engage in. You have much more control over your finances, and that's a good thing. Removing one or the other is a negative move. Reid said that cashless payments bring changes to the way people perceive money and that this has dangers associated with it. We know that some people aren't very good with things like credit, where they can't see the amount of money they're spending at any one time. And cashless payments have some of the same characteristics. Reid said that physical money is a token, a symbol, and that it reminds people how much they're spending. It also gives people the chance to interact with others. Malcolm Hudson, NTD News, London.